see, what attracted me to the character, I think, was the fact that he just, he was very um, who he was. You know, I, I, he was um, unfettered. He was almost complete intelligence. And I like that about him. And even when he was running into pushback from the other character, he was working within that. And he, uh, he stuck to what he, was, what he wanted to do and what he believed in. And part of him was just pure science. You know, he wasn't interested in the other aspects of these creatures. He was interested in the science of creating them. And then the other thing was that once he realized that they're intelligent and capable of communication, it was, it was really easy for me to get behind that because that's, that's a miracle to actually create something that's intelligent, that can communicate. You know, it would be impossible not to love these things that, that you've had a hand in creating that are now communicating with you. Simple autonomous neural reaction. You gotta quit watching all those science fiction movies, Lana. I'm serious, Jennifer. It's learning and incredibly fast. It's like it has its own personality. I'm telling you, this one, this one is different. I just adored Mercy. She's just such a fun person and such a good actress. Whatever antipathy we, were, we had with each other, I thought it was easy to play because Basically, my character doesn't really fight back with her. And the way it, she made it easier was there was kind of a glint in her eye. You know, there was a way in which she thought this was funny. And she, you know, she was dismissing what I had to say, but there was a, a sense of humor that she was doing with it that, that made it easy to stay in the scene with her. Now, what are you so excited about? Wait, don't tell me. Number five again? Right. <laughs> I'm starting to think there's something going on between the two of you. That is funny. Yeah. But I'm not joking. <laughs>